Well, hello, and welcome to Controller to CFO, Path to Promotion. It's a webcast from sponsored by the Controllers Council. My name is Lindy Antonelli, partner with Armanino and Controllers Council Board Chair. I'll be your moderator today. First, let's take a look at our agenda for today's webcast. I will introduce our esteemed panelists then quickly share some background about our sponsors. Then I'll turn it over to our panelists to share his background and answer some questions. Uh, we'll gain a lot of insights, I'm sure. We do have time for Q&A, and um, then we'll share some information about the Controllers Council. But a couple of housekeeping items first. Tomorrow, all attendees will receive an email with a link to this webcast. And as mentioned, we will take questions, so please type in your question into the control panel on your um, GoToWebinar webcast. Um, type in the questions and we will try to get to all of them today. With that, I'm pleased to introduce our esteemed panelist, colleague and friend, Ted Weitzel. Ted is SVP Finance and Operations at G2 and a director on the Controllers Council Board of Advisors. G2 is the world's largest tech marketplace. Prior to his current role, Ted was controller at both G2 and sister company Steelbrick. Other experience includes Capital One and Big Machine Software. Ted is a CPA and earned a Bachelor of Science in Business from Miami University of, of Ohio. Ted is an active member of the AICPA and speaker at the Illinois Technology Association, Next Series Club, and Financial Executives International. Okay, before we get started, I did want to share some information about the Controllers Council sponsors who make this webcast and other programming relevant and possible. Our sponsors include Bill.com, fully digitized AP and AR, no in-person approvals and no paper needed. Flowcast, financial close management software and the controller's best friend. And last but not least, Armanino, my firm, a top 25 accounting and technology consulting firm and strategic business partner to the accounting and finance organization. And now, on to our presentation. Ted, why don't we start with a quick snapshot of your career, how you became a controller, then CFO, and then SVP finance and operations. Sure. Awesome, Lindy. And uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. It's great to uh, speak with you again, and it was nice to catch up before we started this webinar. Um, well, you know, my, yeah, my, career, my career and path has been uh, due in large part to determination and work effort, but uh, mostly it was a lucky job change in my mid-20s. I started out like a lot of accountants that do not go the public accounting route. Uh, in large multinational manufacturing conglomerates. After a few years of doing uh, inventory audits and unair conditioned tin sided warehouses in the middle of July in Brownsville, Texas, for one of them, decided enough is enough. I needed a change. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew I didn't want to do that anymore. Uh, in one of my many interviews, I was introduced to a company that offered me a taste of entrepreneurship as well as better upward mobility. Uh, that company was Big Machines. That was my introduction to the entrepreneurial family led by Goddard Abel. Uh, in the five years that followed, I advanced from senior accountant to accounting manager to director of accounting at Big Machines, running a global accounting function of uh, 15 people with five entities uh, in five different countries. Uh, after Big Machines sold to Oracle in 2013 for nearly $400 million, took a small detour to Capital One where I managed the accounting function or portfolio of partner card programs. Uh, during that time, I was able to assist in the sale of the Best Buy relationship to Citigroup. Uh, and the value of those accounts was roughly $7 billion. So obviously a pretty big transaction. Uh, and then in 2014, uh, things got really interesting. Goddard Abel, and the other founders of G2.com had also acquired a small CPQ tool called Steelbrick. At that time, both companies were relatively nascent 
It was a big risk to jump out of a super stable gig at Capital One. But again, I felt that entrepreneurial itch and, uh, and took the job as controller for both companies. Uh, little did I know that controller really meant head of accounting, finance, legal, HR, recruiting, facilities, IT, security, and compliance. Uh, for Steelbrick, the next 24 months were a total roller coaster. Uh, we were growing revenue exponentially. We raised over $70 million in venture capital, took the team from five people to 200 people, purchased a company in the UK called Invoiceit, and sold the company to Salesforce for $360 million in 2016. Uh, then after a brief stint in Salesforce, I made the decision to go back to G2 full time for the first time. Uh, to help scale G2 into the place to go when you are making software buying decisions and managing your software stack. At G2, we're curating the only list of every software provider on the planet, driving peer reviews to those products and helping 5 million software buyers make the right software decisions every month. Uh, we've also raised $100 million in venture capital from the likes of Acel and IVP and acquired two companies in 2019 to expand our offerings. And that Lindy, is my experience in a nutshell.